All right, what is going on guys? So today's video, I'm gonna be going over my top five types of lures for pike fishing. Now this is not gonna be like specific lures from different brands that are like my favorites. We're gonna be going over like different styles, my five different styles of lures that I think you must have in your box for pike fishing. So we're gonna go on the bank. We're not actually somewhere where I'm like fishing. I just come so I can show you the lures. But yeah, we're gonna go on the bank, show you which lures I think you should have in your box and why and uh yeah hopefully you'll learn something just remember this is my opinion only everyone's got a different opinion and if you've got different types of lures that you think are better put them in the comment section and then you can all like feed off each other's knowledge so yeah get on the bank i'll show you my top five types of lures and um yeah that's it right guys we're out on the bank we're on this bridge so hopefully i'll be able to show you the lures in the water we're going to kick it off. These are in no particular order. Uh, I've just brought what lures I have in my van. So, yeah, a bit of a mix match. But first type of lure that we're going to look at today is trusted jerk bait or glide bait. Depending on where you live, whatever you call it. But, yeah, these are awesome lures for pike. Such aggressive takes. Always um, get you a couple of fish when you're out. But yeah, doesn't matter which brand, you know. Um, Rapala Haku, these are handmade ones. Uh, in here I've got some Svartazonka Tiskarans, and you know, your Strike Pros, um, Western Swim, Savage Gear Jerkster, whatever. They all do the similar things. Well, same thing, but in a slightly different way. I'm just going to tie this one on, show you how this one works in the water depending on which brand you've got some swim on their own a bit which uh, can make things easier on longer casts and some are just purely worked with a broad tip uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see from up here put a nice bright coloured one on but nice side to side walking action and this one on a straight retrieve as you can see still swims on its own so you can troll it as well which is pretty pretty cool uh but yeah bait you can work you can work really quick or you can fish really really slow when you're in winter or when the fish are just not as active working with the rod tip nice side to side action or get that weed off Working with the reel, half and quarter turns. As you can see the lure there, same action. So, depending on what rod you've got. You know, if you've got a softer tip rod, you'll probably want to use your reel more. But if you've got a stiff rod, work it with your rod tip. And uh, again, like, like I said, depending on which one you've got, a lot of them, you don't even need to work it. You can just slow roll it in and it'll swim on its own which is super cool again they're all different brands are all slightly different sink at slightly different depths Mo generally they're going to be shallow running um more for shallow water fishing but yeah it's definitely a lure you should have in your box for pipe fishing good all year round summer work them nice and fast and you just get smash after smash so much fun and then in winter you can work them really slow with long pauses another good thing about glide baits or jerk baits cast them incredibly fast <laughs> And if you're working it, like this one you can just straight retrieve, a few pauses, or you can work it with your reel at that distance, no problem. But, yeah, super good for covering loads of water. Get to places where you might not typically be able to reach if you're a bank fisherman with other lures. And yeah, that is the first of five. Like I say, no particular order, 
but don't have a jerk bait in your box. Alright guys, so the second type of lure is going to be a paddle tail swim bait. Now typically, the size I'll go for is sort of a, oh, let me just pull this one out, between sort of 20 and 25 centimetre sort of size. You can have hybrid ones like the um, Pito, fully soft ones, you know, Wolf Creek, awesome lure that, loads of fish on it. Thinner profiles, like your uh, shod teases, that's 19 centimetre that one. Deeper profiles, Ricky the Roach. Yeah, so, loads of different types. Natural looking ones as well, sort of. I mean, this one's been chewed up, but yeah. Good old paddle tail in your box. Very versatile there. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, you know. Just wind them in, super easy. No, 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 you do lots with a paddle tail. <laughs> Not just a straight retrieve. You can straight retrieve them, of course, but you know, throw a lot of pauses in, spin stops, rip them, you can twitch them. Fish them in loads of different ways. Different paddle tails have got different actions, again, just like the jerk base, but very similar. Get that little bit of body roll on them. Some don't have a body roll at all, so they're a bit more suited for sort of winter fishing. But generally get a nice body roll, that tail kicks. Fish them slow, fish them fast. Typically, I'll rig mine um, shallow. If I want to add weight, I'll add like a pear drop weight on it. Um, and yeah, very versatile, uh, something you've definitely got to have in your uh, box when you pipe fish in. Cover tons of water with it, catch a lot of fish with them, and uh, easy to use. Beginner, or if you've been fishing a while, it's still something you've got to use. Like I say again, tons of different brands, everyone makes paddle tail lures. You have fully soft ones, you can have hybrids. You can rig them with a jig head if that's your sort of thing you like doing. Add weight, don't add weight. Fish them deep, fish them shallow. But, yeah. Super versatile. Uh, there were a time where like, I re didn't really fish with it, anything else apart from a paddle tail swim bait. So, yeah, that's the second type of lure. Very easy to use. Like I say, tons of different types you can uh, choose. Typically, like I say, 20 to 25. Sometimes I'll go bigger. Like with this, this is a uh, 29 centimetre. There are tons of fish on that. Or sometimes I'll downsize. My go-to downsize is... Um, This one, 14 centimetre Ricky. Sometimes it's just not after a big lure, so bang a downsizer on. Of course, you can have weedless ones as well. So, if you're fishing somewhere like this or somewhere with a lot of grass, stick a weedless hook in one. And drew away. And obviously, you can get bigger weedless hooks like this on the. Uh, that's Uncle One. Nice hook exposure. That's Savage Gear EWG hook, I think. This is um, VMC Mystic Black. So, yeah. Tons of rigging options. You can fish it tons of different ways. Yeah. Very versatile lures. Paddle tail swim baits. you can troll them as well. Right guys, third type we're going to go through for the must-have high colours. It's going to be tail baits. Now I don't use these a huge amount in my videos. Uh, I'll typically 
use tail baits more autumn winter time uh, if I'm trying to catch a bigger fish I found that you do tend to get a lot better fish on tail baits had some really nice fish on these again shallow runners super easy to fish typically I'll slow roll them but you can uh, you can twitch them get some good spin stops in them and stuff like that different brands different action same same plot of thing this is a oh, terrible cast <laughs> this is a storm rip roach uh not rip roach rip tail i think uh you can you can sort of jerk this one get a bit of a side side action if you want i'll typically so roll it i've had some good fish trolling this as well Yeah, you can see that tail moves just even the slowest movement so perfect for winter fishing uh yeah different brands strike pro wolf tail as far as i can make one loads of custom bait companies make these and typically get a hard front soft tail super nice bait and uh, yeah, how I tend to fish these, just slow roll, slow roll, throw some pauses in, and slow roll, just use them winter time, get some good fish on them usually. I think I've probably had as many doubles on this as I have jacks, which is quite unusual for me. Normally just gets jacks, but yeah, get a lot of big fish on these. See, just super slow rolling and that tail's kicking so much. Giving off loads of vibration. So yeah, that's the third type of lure. This is just the one I had in my box, but like I say, you've got your... Uh, Few wolf tails, Svats on Kerr, I forgot what the name of it is, McTail or something like that. But yeah, super nice lures. More for winter, not really some of the jerk baits and uh, tail and shad tails all year round sort of lures, but this this had probably you can catch all year round on it, but I I only use it in winter really. So yeah, that's the third type, must have pike layers. Right, so the fourth type of lure we're going to talk about today is jointed swim baits. Love a jointed swim bait. Super realistic action. Catch tons of fish with them and they're mega easy to use. Use with different ways, fish them deep, fish them shallow. This is a custom one from Dodo Lures. Um, this is a Spro Screaming Devil. Um, get this untangled. You know, you've got this big Savage Gear hard um, pike. So, yeah, that's just what I've got in my box. Look. Every brand's got one. Start, I'll show you how this one swims. Put super realistic action on them. If the pike are actively hunting, you're going to get a lot of fish on these. Might be a bit harder to show from up here, but you can see that super nice glide on this one. Running a bit shallow just because I'm on the bridge, but you can you can you get the idea. You can pause them, just straight retrieve. Oh, very nice action on this bait. Depending on what brand, they've all got different actions. Some have got rattles, some don't. 
some sink fast, some sink slow. Hard ones, soft ones, but yeah, something that I've caught a ton of fish on. The prey frontiers as well. So that's that's quite a um, quite a wide wide action, I'd say. I'll just show you different action. This it's more of an S curve. This one, but very much tighter action because it's supposed to be more of the pike swimming action. So I'll show you this one real quick. So tighter action. Don't glide to the sides as much, but super realistic jack pike again bigger fish you'd probably just want to slow roll it straight retrieve it smaller ones do a few rips and pauses but yeah super tight action and a little bit of a rattle compared to the dodo one which has no rattle and the screaming devil which just does mad rattle so again they're all slightly different do slightly different things but same same sort of bait this one got a tight action but very fast action